Hey, welcome back, friend. Thank you for tuning in. It's Brian here. We're going to jump right into the three things you need to know to ultimately be successful in your life, whether it comes to building your health mentally, physically, emotionally, building your career and your wealth, building a business, building relationships that are strong, healthy, loving, and ultimately living the good life as God intended. And as a thank you for tuning in to this video, I'm actually going to give you a fourth bonus tip. The first thing you need to know in this pyramid of success, we're going to call it, is that you got to have the K, right? And that's knowledge. And let me, for now, go right back to what we're going to need is K, right? C, S, and then the fourth bonus one is going to be E. Okay, so remember that acronym, K, C, S, E. Knowledge. Now, knowledge seems obvious, right? Of course, you have to have knowledge to be successful in life. But where most people get this part wrong is in getting the right knowledge. Thousands upon thousands and millions upon millions of people go to college, and then they realize years later that they either went to college for the wrong thing, they're not happy with what they learned, or it's in no way, shape, or form impacting their career the way that their debt demands that it should. Right, so it's about getting the right knowledge. One of the things that I coach on in all of my programs, whether I'm coaching a business on how to do their strategy or their marketing, or I'm coaching an individual on how to be the strongest version of themselves, the first thing that we start with is self-awareness, okay? If you do not have self-awareness, you do not have the foundation of all success. It all comes from self-awareness. Self-awareness then informs, okay, if I know these things about myself, what do I need to know about myself? First of all, you need to know who you are. And part of that is something you define, part of it is something that you discover over your life. More importantly, you need to know what your values are, what motivates you, what gets you out of bed every day. What are you actually good at? If you're a younger person that's watching this, you may not know everything about what you're good at yet, you're still experimenting. If you're older and you're watching this, you probably have a good idea, if not what you're great at, at least what you suck at. And if you know what you suck at, then you know what you can avoid. But when you know these areas, and then you can tack on a fifth one, you have passion, right? One of the lessons I teach in every coaching program that I launch is called the five pillars of self-awareness, right? And that's gonna help you figure those things out. When you have that, then that can affect, okay, what do I need to be pursuing as my career, for example, right? Okay, then this is the specific knowledge I need to go and get. I knew by the time I was 17 sitting in college, sitting in college that yeah, working a job for the rest of my life is not gonna work. I'm, I'm already a terrible student. I know I'm gonna be a terrible employee. I'm gonna have to run my own show if I wanna be successful, but I'm gonna have to get some knowledge and some discipline to be able to do that properly. Okay, so you have to have knowledge of self, but then you, you use the knowledge of self to understand what are the other pieces. I mean, you can look at my library here. There's a ton of knowledge up here, but it's not accidental and it's not random. All of these books have made it onto my bookshelf because they've added a piece of knowledge, a piece of strength, a piece of wisdom to me that I've then been able to either put back out in the world and pay forward or use to my and my family's benefit right so you have to have knowledge you can also say right here under knowledge that you have to have skill right the next thing we talked about depending on how you found this video if you watch it on social media we talked about in the military right you have to be able to shoot move and communicate understood right of course you understand so we're going to try to get this back up here without falling over if we can right <laughs> so we have to be able to shoot move and communicate communicate is the C in this right you've got to be able to communicate but more specifically because obviously to get along in the world you have to be able to communicate you have to be able to communicate in the right ways one of the things that i struggled with when i talked about in the previous video that i struggle with in civilian life is that in the military we have a language we have a disposition we have a way of communicating with each other do we always get along of course not do we sometimes fight and even sometimes heatedly of course but there is an unspoken level of loyalty and brotherhood that's in that military organism that keeps us focused on the mission and focused most importantly on taking care of one another 
in the civilian world, there is no equal to that. That was one of my biggest struggles was I went from living a life around people who I knew no matter what would die in order to keep me safe and keep me alive. And they knew that I would do the exact same thing for them. You have to understand that there's a brotherhood or a sisterhood that gets formed in those environments that doesn't exist working at Google, right? Or at 7-Eleven or wherever you work, or even in a business that you may start. You're gonna have some level of loyalty, but I can pretty much guarantee you that none of the people that you hire into your business are going to just gladly lay down their life in order to keep you living. In the military, that's different. So I had to learn how to communicate. I had to learn how to speak a different language. What does this look like specifically? Well, one, building relationships. Let me tell you, building relationships, pretty dang easy when all of you have on the same uniform and the people over there trying to kill you. Real easy to get along with these guys, right? The guys that look like me and are shooting back at the bad guys, not too hard to get along with these dudes. Not too hard to communicate and build relationships with them because I depend upon them in order to stay alive. In the real world, quote unquote, not so easy, right? Everybody has it a lot easier. In most working environments, people aren't walking into Microsoft worrying about people from one of the, the engineering team coming over to kill them, right? So building relationships outside of the context of combat for me was quite a bit harder, even though I'm a pretty likable dude, right? But I'm rough around the edges and sometimes I don't have a filter and that can get me into some social challenges, we'll say. So I had to learn how to temper that, right? I had to learn how to speak a different language. And what that really boils down to is I'd say building relationships is kind of the sub to this, like skill is to knowledge. What it boiled down to was empathy. Again, really easy to have empathy for a group of people you're depending on to survive. I care about how you're feeling, how are you doing, are you hurt, are you injured, right? I care about do you have enough food, do you have enough ammunition to get the mission done, or do you have enough water, right? I care about those things because that is what we need to survive. Out here in what some of my friends call TV land, not necessarily the same. And by the way, if you're not a military person or a law enforcement person, all of this still applies because at any given moment, you're going to be in a group of people that don't necessarily see the world exactly the way you see it. I wake up every single day focused on making life better for other people, helping people overcome their internal and external challenges to live the way I believe God created them to live. That is my whole life's vision. And I want to do that for a billion people. That's not necessarily everyone I'm around's goals, right? Some people are just trying to get home to watch the Game of Thrones marathon, and there's nothing wrong with that. Does it make me better that my dreams are so lofty or that maybe your dreams are lofty as well? Does it make us better than other people? It just means we have to learn how to talk. We have to learn how to engage. And remember, 75 plus percent of communication is not coming out of your mouth. It's coming out of your face. It's coming out of the way you engage with a person when you talk, right? And these are all things that I teach in a lot of my programs, right? We have a section on becoming a compelling person, right? And people think that's kind of weird. Well, I'm not trying to be Casanova, but you are. When you go on a job interview, you are working on being compelling to an employer. When you start your own business, you're working on being compelling to someone you want to buy your products or services. Right? And if you do not have the ability to communicate, and communicate, I should say, communicate effectively, because we all communicate, right? <laughs> but not all of us do it well. And effective communication, 100% depends on empathy. Building relationships, 100% depends upon communicating effectively. And if you want to make any progress on any of your life's goals, right, whether it's career, whether it's relationships, you're going to have to be able to build relationships, which means you're gonna have to have empathy, which means you're gonna have to understand how to communicate effectively. These are all things that you've got to have in your tool belt. The third one, before we get to the bonus, is the S. And that's strategy. 
Sun Tzu is often quoted as saying that strategy before tactics is the longest road to victory and tactics without strategy is the noise before defeat. You've got to have a method, a template for how you're going to accomplish whatever your goals are. List them out. And if you're watching this, take some notes. What are you? What is your end game? What are you trying to get to? Is there a certain level of wealth that you want, right? And wealth's different for every person. Doesn't necessarily have to be money, but money's probably going to have to be involved, right? That's why in my program, I teach a lot about how to generate revenue. Like I have a whole section just on sales, right? Whether you're selling a product or you're selling yourself, you're always selling, right? Maybe there's a certain level of health that you want. Right? Want to get the six pack, want the beach body, or at the very least, just not want heart disease, right? Relationships or love. You may have love goals, right? You want to get married, want to have a significant other, right? Want to have children, want to have a family, right? And overall, you want to have what I call the joie de vivre, right? The joy of life. The joy that comes from having all of these things squared away. When you look at the regrets of mankind, Every regret that a human being has centers around a lack of one of these things. A lack of money, a lack of resources, a lack of access, right, wealth, a lack of meaningful relationships, family, friends, children, brothers, sisters, all those things, or a lack of health, right? I just had a dinner party here at my family, with my family, uh, which included my biological father, who I've been building a relationship with over the last couple of years because I met him about, I want to say, seven years ago for the first time. And so he was talking about his health, and he's really overweight, and he's working to get that down. In order to get any of these things, you have to have a strategy. You have to have a blueprint. You have to have a way, and by the way, a proven method of getting it done. When I'm coaching people on how to do YouTube, for example, in the social in the social media space, right? I'm showing them the templates that work for me, but more importantly, the templates that work for other clients that I've worked with. People that have built followings of hundreds of thousands. In some cases, I have clients that have built millions of followers, right? In order to get there, they had to have a strategy. They had to know what is the way I'm gonna get from point A to point B. All my military people who are watching this understand this very well. And number four, really the bonus thing you're going to have to have is the ability to execute, right? And I would say more specifically, you know, I like to get specific. I don't like philosophy alone. I like practicality. You've got to be able to prioritize, one of my favorite things in the world, and execute. You've got to have good execution. Once you have the strategy in place, what kills every single person I've ever coached progress is none of these three. Because I cover these three in spades. In fact, at the end of this talk here in a second, I'm going to give you access to a program that I've used to coach. I've used it to coach thousands, right? And I have hundreds who are in the program right now today. I give you a heaping helping, a heavy dose of knowledge and skill, a heavy dose of how to communicate more effectively, how to be compelling, how to get the right message in front of the right people at the right time, how to speak other people's language by developing empathy for the other person, how to recognize your own shortcomings and your biases that hold you back so that you can't necessarily get rid of your biases, but you can put them to the side so you can relate to anybody else on the planet. Imagine for a second, that you can go into a room, a business meeting, a dating situation, and be able to relate to anybody, Casanova style. We talk about how to get that done, right? They get, a, they get overwhelmed with strategy, because that's this is probably, out of all these things here, communication and strategy are my strongest suits. I am a badass master when it comes to these, and I'm not bragging, I've had some of the world's finest military and professional leaders make me into that. I'm standing on the shoulders of greatness. It doesn't have much to do with me alone. It's everyone that's prepared me up to this point. right? So imagine you have that for a second. But what shanks every single person that I've worked with that doesn't quite hit their goals, because some people hit their goals and then they explode. 
You know, I work with a friend of mine that's been in my program. His name is Terrence. And for years, he was dancing around. I want to do this. I kind of want to do this. I want to have a t-shirt company. No. We got to the bottom of what he really wanted. He wants to be a professional actor. Right? He wants Hollywood. And I said, dude, cut out all this other stuff and go straight to the top of what you want to do. Now he's on TV shows. He's acting. Right? He's getting it done. I'm watching his Facebook feed explode with, oh, I'm on this set. Oh, I'm working with this actor. Why? Not because I'm awesome, but because I showed him the awesomeness that was already in here and that gave him the courage to go execute. But if he hadn't executed, all of my advice would have been for nothing, right? So built into this ability to prioritize and execute, not only do you have to be able to do it, on the flip side, all the people that I've helped that have exploded are masters at execution. They take the knowledge. I had a guy that came through one of my programs. He was a YouTube entertainer, and he wanted to grow his YouTube following so he could make money and entertain people. It's what he loved to do. Showed him all three of these. He got busy immediately the day he signed up for the program. Exploded. Went from 400 followers to 400 subscribers. I think he had 60,000 before that year was over. right? And In fact, he had 50,000 within four months. So that's roughly... 10,000 plus a month he was bringing in, right, doing that. But it's because he took the knowledge, the ability to communicate, the strategy, and then he executed hard. You've got to be able to put in the execution. And what I built into this program that I told you about a moment ago is not just giving you knowledge and showing you how to get the skills, not just showing you how to communicate effectively, not just giving you the strategy, but I keep you accountable. Right? We have a private Facebook group as a part of this program where I'm constantly or one of my team members is constantly uploading. Have you looked at this? Have you thought of this? Where are you at right now based on the goals we had you write down and map out? Right, Holding people accountable. The only people who don't make it are the people who decide that they're not going to execute or worse, they quit. They give up before the goal. Right, We've all had that in our lives. We've all come up short because we thought we weren't good enough or thought we couldn't make it and we quit. Sadly, like Napoleon Hill said in the book, Think and Grow Rich, I think I have that on my shelf somewhere around here. In fact, I have two copies of it. I had three copies. I gave one of them away. Got each of those books for a dollar, man. <laughs> like a consignment sale or something. In the book, he talks about three feet from gold where this miner, this guy decides he's going to get gold fever and he starts mining out in California. And he's digging and digging. He finds gold. Like, yeah, we got it. And they start digging and digging more. And they're digging and digging, no gold. Digging and digging, no gold. And he's like, I guess this little bit of gold we found that's going to fund our equipment and get us back home. But let's just turn in the tools and quit. They hawk the tools to this guy on the street. <laughs> it's just like, hey, if you want them here. He's like, what about the quarry, the mine that you're digging? He's like, ah, there's no gold in there. This guy takes the tools and he goes and hires like a professional prospector, a person who can evaluate terrain. Terrain guy comes back and says, if you dig another three feet this way, you're going to hit a, an ore, you know, this plot of gold that's bigger than you could possibly imagine. This dude becomes a millionaire overnight because he had the willingness to get knowledge, right? He communicated effectively. He had a strategy. I'm not no gold miner. I'm going to go find someone smarter than me to coach me how to do it. That's what a lot of my programs focus on. And then I'm going to execute. Once I got all this, now I can go dig. And three feet later, he's a millionaire, right? One million right off the break. Okay, so you've got to have knowledge and skill. You've got to be able to communicate effectively. You've got to be able to build or at least take a working strategy from someone who's already figured out the process. At the end of the day, you gotta be able to put in the work, right? Coaches, offensive coordinators, everyone can show you how to do it. Like Morpheus told Neo, I can just show you the door, but you're the one that has to walk through it. But I am going to give you the added bonus of when you come into a program like the one we have here, you are gonna get the added bonus of accountability. If you wanted a fifth thing <laughs> that you need, and you do need this, it's accountability, right? Without accountability, without someone to hold your feet to the fire, you're really not going to have that push, right? I have mentors. I have people in my life. And in fact, I have children. Like, that's my accountability is I have 
a bunch of little people that are depending on me to succeed. I also have people in my company who are depending on me to succeed, right? Because this is part of how they live their life. All right, so I have all the accountability in the world, but I still have other people. I have a business partner who holds me accountable, checks on me. How you doing? Don't drag your feet. Get up, get in the fight. And I hold him accountable too. This is what I'm gonna offer to you, my friends, uh, in a program that I like to call the Social Media Ninja Academy. And what I don't want you to mistake that for is just a social media course that's gonna show you, here's how you do your Facebook, here's how you do your YouTube, here's how you do your LinkedIn and your Instagram, blah, 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 right? All of that's in there, by the way. I'm going to show you how to use those, all of those platforms effectively, regardless of what your goals are. You're a YouTube entertainer? Awesome. You're a person just looking for a job after the military? Awesome. I'm going to show you how to use all of these platforms to your advantage. But more importantly than the platforms, what I tell anybody who's been in my program for more than one day, they hate hearing me say it because I say it all the time. The platforms are just tools, right? I am teaching you how to build a successful life and we're going to do it using social media as one of the tools to build it. Why? Because social media, by the way, is an awesome place to get and share knowledge, right? What most people don't understand, most importantly, social media is how the world communicates now, period. And I don't care how old. My grandmother has a Facebook account and a Twitter, okay? Social media is where we communicate now. The people you wanna meet, the jobs you wanna get, the people you wanna do business with are here. And you've got to learn not only how to communicate effectively with people, but to be able to communicate effectively in the right places so that you can get the outcomes you're looking for by adding value to other people's lives. Another thing that we're gonna talk about in great detail, strategy. Right? Social media is a part of every successful person's strategy, period. Right? Even if it's just someone, if they're like a business owner, like one of my mentors uh, and former bosses is a billionaire. I think he's on the Forbes, I don't know if he's on the Forbes 100 list at this point, but he's worth about four billion, right? And he's not all over social media, but his company is, right? And that's the strategy. And then how to execute. How do you find a new job on LinkedIn? By doing more than just going to the job, clicking apply and filling out your little sheet. What are some of the ninja tricks that you can use in order to get in front of the hiring manage managers in a way that's not intrusive, in a way that's not annoying and spammy, but in a way that's actually valuable, right? How do you do that? How do you build your network? And by the way, your network equals your net worth. Have you ever heard that cliche before? It's true. How many people are in your network? Because the more people in your network that can potentially help you do what you want to do, the easier it is to do what you want to do. LinkedIn, for example, is a very powerful way to get that done. We just shot a video specifically on how I exactly do my business development on LinkedIn. It's one of the most powerful platforms I've ever used to do business. Right? But it could be if you're looking more for a career or a job, it's there too. Most importantly, aside from all of that, it's about these things right here. The health, the wealth, the love, the joy, the good life as God intended it. Right? I'm going to show you ways to build all of these things. Right? And by the way, I call it the Social Media Ninja Academy because I use social media to make ninjas. Right? I'm not trying to necessarily make you a social media ninja. I'm trying to make you a ninja using social media. And that's a ninja at anything you want to be a ninja at. Building wealth, building a business, building a career, getting your health in line, right? In fact, well, when this is all said and done, I'm working on right now buying land to have a physical facility where I can do this type of coaching so that we can incorporate health training into what we do, right? And I mean by doing it, not by giving you a bunch of classes and here's a sheet of all the workouts you need to do, actually working out with you, taking you through some of my workouts, some of the workouts of my business partners who are crazier than me, and then adjusting them for your activity level. This is where this whole thing is leading toward. If my friends, you are interested in doing this, I've got an application right here on the page that you can fill out today, okay? 
We'll fill out the application. And the reason why we do an application is really simple. I don't want you to just willy-nilly buy into a program if it's not right for where you are going, especially for my veterans, especially, especially for my combat veterans. If we determine in our conversation online that this isn't right for you, I will actually tell you not to make it happen. Because I don't want anybody coming in and investing hard-earned, blood-fought dollars for something that's not absolutely going to get you the results that you're looking for. Okay, so we do. We also do the application kind of on the flip side to keep out the people who we don't want in the program. Because believe me, sometimes you get people that join it and they don't want to do any of the execution. They don't want to look at any of these things. They just, oh, I joined the program. Now you make me successful. Right? It's like having an having an investment advisor and they're saying, here's all my money, now go make me rich and never talking to them. We get people like that. We don't like working with folks like that. We want people who are already ninjas or people that have the potential to be ninjas. And all we're going to do is steer you in the right direction, give you the knowledge, the skills, the abilities, the execution, and ultimately the accountability to help you get to where you want to go. That said, two things you need to keep in mind. If you are a disabled veteran, you will never pay a dime for any of my programs, period. This is 100% absolutely free if you're a disabled veteran, and we will cover that in the application. You'll be able to let me know that that's the case. Behind the scenes, we'll work out, you know, DD-214, all that other uh, fancy stuff. We don't keep any of it. I just look at it, and we have disabled vets in our program. I take a look, verify that it's you, I delete it. It's gone, okay? Secondly, for my vets that are here, and for anybody that took the time out to listen to me talk this whole time, I'm going to give you this program today, so you need to not drag your feet. I'm going to give you the program 50% off, okay? And on top of that, we have a VIP program where I meet with you monthly, right? The normal program is just going to give you these layers and then access to our private Facebook group where we interact. The VIP program, I do live video conferences with everybody in the program who wants to show up. And we spend about two or three hours going through Usually a lesson that I've prepared, but then most importantly, preparing time for Q&A. Working to get a new job, working to build a YouTube channel, having challenges in your relationships, doesn't matter what the issue is. We're going to spend about two hours together figuring out how to get you from point A to point B. It is literally the most powerful part of the whole program. We're going to give you that for, I think it's 66% off? I think that's right. So we're going to give you access to that for 66% off if you act today. And basically the way it'll work is you'll fill out the application. We'll get in touch via email, tell you everything squared away, good to go. We'll give you access to where you go sign up. And then you would just sign up for the regular program. That'll be 50% off. And then you sign up for the VIP program. That'll be 66% off for the monthly hangouts. And then you'll immediately get access right then and there to the content. Right now, we're over 60 hours of content, just the stuff we've already produced, aside from the two hours we do per month. Uh, and it's growing. In fact, it's probably, at the time of this filming, getting closer to 70 hours of content because we just did an entire four-hour <laughs> tirade of content that we just put up into the system my editor did. So, sounds interesting to you. Sounds like something you want to be a part of. It would be my honor to have you in the program and to serve you. If you're a combat vet, if you're a military vet, or if you're a dis disabled vet or police officer, by the way, law enforcement is included in everything I just said. If you're a disabled law enforcement person, free, okay? If you're law enforcement, anybody else, today you take the action to put the application in, you will lock in your 50% off and your 66% off, okay? Anyway, hopefully you got something really awesome out of this conversation here. So many people don't. You'd be surprised how knowing these four things is going to give you a leg up on life that other people will spend years spinning in circles trying to figure out. Till next time, friends, until all are one, it's Brian Chambers once again thanking you from the bottom of my heart for watching. Remember, always, we are stronger than I. I love you much, and I'll see you on the other side.